Hey everybody, it's Aaron Norris. It is Friday, October 7th. This is episode 325. And when it comes to tenants and safety during times of natural disaster, do you have a plan? That and much more as we cover the biggest headlines in real estate. You're not going to want to miss the radio show this week. We are winding down only 14 days to go to I Survive Real Estate coming up October 21st. Uh, this week, we've got Nick Bailey. He is the vice president of Zillow. It's the very first time Zillow is on the panel, but for the radio show, he talks about how he got started in real estate and at a very early age, renting versus buying, what, what is affecting home ownership for first-time home buyers, and the two types of real estate professionals that exist in today's market on the radio show and podcast this week. CoreLogic says nationwide home prices surged 6.2% in August, the biggest month-to-month -month increase in 11 years. The biggest increase we're seeing in uh, Oregon at 10.3%, Washington at 10.2%, Colorado 9.1%, and Florida at 76 That's pretty crazy for one month. The jobs report is out, and unemployment increased slightly to 5% from 49 after a weaker-than-expected September. Hourly wages are on track to hit 2% annual growth for the year. Stocks are down, and hype is up. Of course, these numbers are getting a lot of political play. Uh, depending on who you talk to, but most think that this is leading towards the Fed increasing interest rates in December. Mortgage rates remain uh, the same overall with 30-year rates at 3.42% and 15 years at 2.72%. Unfilled construction jobs are the second highest they've been since May of 2007, according to the Bureau of Labor Statistics. But will millennials bite? So builders have been sort of dormant for the last eight years since the downturn, and now they're just starting to pick up. And it's been a major concern for top builders that they just don't have the skilled labor to do some pretty important things. So they don't know who's going to fill the gap. And I'm interested to find out in the next year, as I think building is going to get a little bit more popular how they make that happen. Will they go to robotics? We will have to wait and see. On Tuesday, FHFA announced a one-time principal reduction offer to struggling homeowners that are still upside down in their home. To qualify, your loan must be guaranteed by Fannie or Freddie. You have to be 90 days or more delinquent on your mortgage payments as of March 1st of 2016. And you also have to have unpaid principal balance of $250,000 or less out of out, as of March 1st as well. You have to owe more than 115% on your house, so it's still gotta be upside down and you have to own and live in your home. The offer appears to be only through December 31st this year. You have to sign the simple paperwork. It looks like they're making it super easy, so if you know somebody who's in that position, they might get an early Christmas gift. Freddie Mac is selling off $1 billion in non-performing loans to a number of investors that Fannie Mae has worked with in the past, and this is a little bit unusual because instead of selling it all to one company, it's getting split up to some usual suspects. All these companies have previously purchased from Fannie before. These loan pools are seriously delinquent and 47.5% are loans that have been modified at some point but have come back as delinquent again and the LTV on the pool is around 86% so you note buyers if you got connections there maybe you're going to also have an early Christmas gift so have to check that out. In California 92.9% .9 of all mortgage properties actually have equity now so maybe that offer that I talked about earlier not so much in California who knows but it looks like California homeowners are loving it and HELOC and home equity uh, loans are increasing by 15%. Originations, well, those are down 10%, but at least we've got the refis going on. I know we have a lot of people that are in real estate that work all over the country and some are in Florida biting their nails. I know the Norris Group has a lot of properties in Florida, so we've been a little nervous watching this huge hurricane, one not size not seen since, uh, you know, for over a decade. So it's a little nerve wracking and you always have to think about tenants. As a property manager, do you have a plan in place? I'm interested to know, um, do you have a plan in place with your tenants, whether you're in California and have to consider earthquakes or you're in Florida dealing with with hurricanes. Do you have a plan? Do you review it once a year with your tenants saying this is how you turn off gas, this is what you do to the windows, this is what you do if you know some major catastrophic event happened, this is the plan. I would love to hear your feedback about what you do with your tenants. If you're on YouTube, please leave a comment below and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a beat. If you're on Facebook, please don't forget to not only like the Norris Group page, but don't forget to add us to your C first list and with no notifications on. Leave your comments below the video and if we miss something share the story on our comment sections on either YouTube or Facebook and we'll make sure to include it on our blog at thenorrisgroup.com forward slash blog. Upcoming events we are winding down for the year. Uh, Saturday we are 
basically sold out for tomorrow in Irvine. We're doing cashing in on a boom. This is the event that we sold out for in February. We brought it up to Sacramento, and now it's back here for the last time this year. And we're looking forward to see a lot of you tomorrow. October 21st, I Survive Real Estate 2016. We still have a few seats left if you want to sign up, but you don't have to sign up to actually give to the cause. You can always go to iSurviveRealEstate.com, follow the directions under attend, and you can find out a way to end up giving. It looks like we're going to be live streaming on Facebook the night of the event via Housing Wire. Uh, that's a little bit of news and we're excited to make sure we can make that happen. I'll announce more on that later. November 5th, we've got Cutting Edge Financial Tactics Brunch, a little more, more aimed at people wanting to be more passive with investing and that's with our partners Keystone CPA, Udirect IRA Services, and we're going to get to see um, 1031 exchanges from Bill Exeter for the first time. We're getting to have him come into the talk. November 6th, the third annual TNG VIP Subscriber Brunch. Uh, we're working on uh, putting together a day. Look for your email. I'm sending out a survey on some things that maybe you would want to learn in the year ahead. For more information on hard money loans, including fix and flip, buy and hold, and new construction, you can always check out thenorrisgroup.com. We've got rates starting at just 6.9%. And did you know we're starting to lend in Sacramento? Uh, check that out. Or if you're interested in more passive investing with trustees, check out tngtrustees.com. Uh, with that, have a fantastic weekend. Say prayers for those on the East Coast. Let's hope things go okay. And we'll see you next week.